Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about this character, why and how does this character get downloaded from Mixamo and end up in Unreal looking like this. So primary focus today is going to be walking through the journey of fixing this character and the different things I ran into while trying to fix it. And then actually when I get to the end, if you've got a better way to fix it, I would love to hear from you as well. So first thing we're gonna do like normal is we are gonna grab our character here. So this is Medea, I'm gonna download and bring in Medea into Unreal. So I'm gonna let that download for a second and then we're gonna go ahead and import our character into our content browser. So that's the standard right click and import. And I renamed her prior to importing, otherwise you end up with this really long name here. So I just renamed it and then started the import. And the other thing that's kind of funny about her for whatever reason, she's also really small. So I'm gonna bump her up by a factor of 10, which may still not be enough, but at least so we can see her a little bit bigger and import. So she's got She's got actually quite a lot wrong with her, but uh, we'll go ahead and fix some of those things in the video here today. And we're not worried about the smoothing group warning, so go ahead and close that. And let's bring her in and take a look at her. So I'm gonna pull her into my session here, and first thing we're gonna notice is her hair is looking a little funky. So let's frame on her. And that was probably the first thing that cued me in that there's something a little off with her. So let's take a closer look and yeah, that's, that's, something's weird. So let's take a look at her hair material or even just the character as a whole and try and understand what's going on. So I'm gonna double click and open up her skeletal mesh here. And let's look at it in the editor. And yeah, so yeah, she's still kind of funny looking. And let's take a look at the asset details. So if you're, depending what tab you have here, switch over to asset details. And we see there's two materials assigned to this character. Let's see, they're almost called the same thing, but one has an underscore. So let's see which is which. So the one without the underscore, if we isolate it, that is the body and everything except the hair. So this one here does not have the hair and doing the same thing on this one if we isolate. So this is the hair. So we're gonna talk about the hair first because that is the most obvious thing that's a little wacky. So that is the uh, with an underscore material. So let's double click and take a look in there. So nothing too major, but let's organize here a bit. So here's here's probably our main issue we're dealing with. We got some opacity problems. So we have a large single texture map for the entire character, just one big map. And if we double click and just take a look at the texture for a second, the diffuse, let's double click and looking around you see eyeballs and heads and pants and everything but here is the hair strands so if you notice we have the brown hair and it looks like we've got some uh, opacity that we're dealing with here some uh, alpha channel stuff so let's take a look at just the well let's go back here for a second let's let's see what the problem is and then fix it so looking at our material we have an opacity input Currently, the way Unreal read in this FBX file is it plugged in opacity and it plugged in the RGB of that particular texture. So this is actually the same texture as this one, right? So notice Medea Diffuse, Diffuse, same thing. So if we take a look at that texture and let's look at the RGB channel. Now the way opacity works, wherever the part of the UVs is dark, then you will have transparency and where it's white, it'll be solid. So kind of skipping ahead, what, what we really want this to look like, if we look at the alpha channel by itself. So we have this black area here. This means where that's gonna be applied, where the texture gets applied. If you're using the alpha channel for opacity, then this is going to take away everything and you won't see anything in this black area. Where it's white, that means solid and that you will fully see your content when you're using an opacity input when it's white. Now look at the problem here. If it was using RGB, this is closer to black than it is to white, which means most of your hair, looking at this, now this is not color, it's just opacity information. If this is closer to black than white, then that means most of your image is going to look transparent. And that's what we see when we look at her hair. It's mostly transparent because the input for the opacity is closer to black than white. 
So what we need to do to fix that, and we have other things to fix, but let's start with that, is rather than for the opacity using RGB, we're going to grab the A for the alpha instead and plug that in. So let's hit apply and take a look at that. So this is looking this is looking better so far. It's looking a little bit more like hair. One thing I want to do as well is rather than have to jump back and forth to different windows is I'm going to bring my character and use it here as my preview. That might be a little trick you're not aware of. All you need to do is go select your character. Here in my content browser, I'm going to select my character, go back to my material, and hit this little brick icon there, or whatever that is. Hit that button, and that'll bring your character in here. Now, we don't really care about her body looking wacky. I mean, we do, and that's an issue. <laughs> looks very wacky. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. That is a problem with her as well. All this weird stuff going on, we'll, we'll deal with that. But at the moment, I'm just looking at the hair. And the hair's getting there. Um, one thing you'll notice is, let's say, for example, this little piece here that's her bangs. If I switch around to the other side, it disappears. So what's going on there? So that's another thing to fix. Um, well, one thing at a time. We have taking care of the opacity issue. So now you'll see the hair, if I can get in there decently. Come here, it's a little touchy. So you'll see the hair looks a little wispy and that looks a lot better uh, than what we had originally. You can see the alpha is cutting out, the black of the alpha channel is cutting out this region that you don't see. And then leaving the hair with a little bit of strands in between because that was, if I go back, you know, you can see if I go to the alpha channel, you can see there was some little strands of black going through there, which is why we it looks like we have individual hairs, which is great. So the alpha part is working with opacity. Now the next thing to look at is why does the hair disappear when we flip to the other side of it? And that is because this material is not two-sided by default. So they're just flat planes of hair shape. So we're going to go here where it says two-sided and check that box and let's apply and let's take a look well we have our character here but uh, let's take a look over here as well so you can see now let's pick a particular strand let's say this one here we're on the underside of it and then when we turn around the other way we can still see it so we do have two-sided hair going on now let's get a lot closer here uh, I forgot to do the classic uh, hold on Got to do this every time in every video. Sorry, but it's good for you to see it as well. Go to your editor preferences, search for middle, and check inverse middle mouse pan. And back to our character's hair. All right, so we have two-sided working. We have the transparency working. Now what we want to look at is something else is still wacky, right? Like these hairs down here, these are underneath, this is on her scalp more or less. And if I look from a side view, here's some hair that's out here, which as I spin around, it's pretty solid coverage on the outside. But why, when I look from the top of her head, why do I see the scalp hairs more than I see the outside hair? So something is weird happening. Uh, we're gonna get back to that. That requires us to do a little secret little fix and then also restart. So before we do that, let's look at one other thing. I want to switch my materials here. So I'm gonna switch over to the character for a second. And let's look at something we gotta fix on her body material as well. Um, look at this arm piece here. So you can see, let me find a place where you can see through. So see in this section of her arm, You can see through the arm piece here, but if I come around the other side, it is actually a solid piece. So what's going on here? It's really the same thing. We just need to make this a two-sided material. So I'm gonna jump into this other material and just go over here to two-sided, check that box, apply, save, come back out and check. And now you can see that is a solid piece here. You don't see through that anymore and on both sides it is now solid. And again, that's just because this is a uh, situation where the normals were making it only visible on one side. In case you ever do wanna see what way do your normals point, you can go up to your character, then go to 
advanced and check this little normals box. So I'm going to go turn that back off. But yeah, anytime you need to double check your normal situation, you can do that here. You don't need to go back to Blender or Maya, whatever, and check it. You can do it here. So now we have that fixed. Let's go back and discuss what's going on here. So uh, it's kind of good to see it with this whole character being used with this material because it's showing us you know, you might not recognize in the hair, because it's kind of messy hair anyway, you might not at first glance realize there's something weird going on. But again, notice how we see down in here the hair, whereas we shouldn't because there's hair on top of that. So you can definitely see there's a problem here where we can see this back piece definitely goes behind her back, but we can see that in front of her face when we come around that side. So there's something really weird going on. And yes, there's different settings down here. You can ch try changing some of these different, uh, whether your blend mode or way down here farther is, where is it somewhere? Um, we have these this lighting mode. You can try some settings here, but there's nothing that's really gonna fix this. So what do we do in this case? Now, why don't we see this? What we're looking at here, right? Why don't we see this on the character uh, when we're looking at it here? Well, in this case, even though they're using the same textures, uh, the body character is, as we saw, using a different material, and this material is not uh, transparent. If we were to switch this to translucent and apply and save, and then take a look at our character over here, uh, yeah, so that it has to do with when you're using a transparency or translucency on your materials. So let's go switch that back. So let's go back to opaque and fix the body texture. And let's talk about what is our grand finale fix of fixing her hair in particular and fixing this opacity. That seems to be a problem that has been around for a while. And right now, the only way that I've found to be able to fix this, it's a little trick. You go into your project settings. So go into project settings and do a search for order. And under rendering, so engine rendering, you have this option here, enable order independent transparency experimental. So if you read there, it says enable support for order independent transparency on translucent surfaces, which removes most of the sorting artifact among translucent surfaces. That's what we see, we have sorting order, so the things are not rendering in the proper order that you would need them to. So we're gonna check that box. It's gonna tell us we need to restart, so go ahead and restart. And I'll go ahead and open all those editors back up. And let's look at our character now. Let's close this. And coming in here and looking at our hair, that is looking much better. Now this part's not looking much better, this little uh, GPU crash, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save and restart and see what's up with that. So after restarting, let's check again, looking at our material in here, let's set up what we had before. Need to go to our previous map that we had. Here's our character. So looking at our hair now, it looks like the sorting order is working. So flipping around, I don't see her scalp anymore. I see the proper hair where I would expect it to be seen. And getting this again. So I have a 2060 card, maybe that's related. I'm not really sure why my GPU keeps crashing. I'm gonna check my drivers and see if uh, I need to update something and then we'll try again. So it looks like maybe my drivers aren't uh, up to date. So I'm gonna go ahead and update that really quick. It's good for you to see this as well in case you get the same issue. All right, looks like we're back in business here. Let's go ahead and get rid of the driver business and let's get Unreal back up and running. So restarting after upgrading my video driver, what's interesting is it was working before and now it's not. And I do have that sort order checked so let's try one more thing, just moving towards the future and seeing if uh, leaving this issue behind is possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my project settings again. There's a new material construct 
called substrate. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on and seeing if using substrate somehow fixes this as well. So let's go ahead and check that box. Again, it's experimental, but it's probably gonna be the new future of using Unreal. So let's try and see if that, rather than fix our old broken down system, let's just try the new one and see if that works. And because it's a completely new shading system, you might have to wait a little while for your shading to update. So let's close that. Let's reopen Media. All right, what do we got here? Oh, oh looking good so far. We have her uh, bushy head. You can't see through to her skull, which is good. And let's go and take a look at the material and see what that looks like. So what it did was when you switch from old material to new material, it adds this uh, converter in here and gives you uh, kind of a new material, but taking what you had before and uh, moving things around. Looks like our opacity is still pulling from the alpha channel, so that's good. So it just kind of converted some stuff for us. But the end result is it looks like we are in business and I don't have my GPU crashing. We have our wispy hair doing what it should do. Right, so we have same thing, it's two sided as well. So we got two sided hair, the depth order is looking good, required us to switch over to substrate. But again, that's that's gonna be the future anyway, so I guess that's a good thing. And actually, I think our character is looking better than the uh, preview that we had in the Mixamo viewer. If we take a look in the Mixamo viewer, we'll see that uh, there's some issues with her in here as well. We got some, you know, you can see the cards on the hair, definitely. Uh, Transparency is looking a little wacky. Also, her arm is having the same issue uh, that we saw there. So we actually improved Medea by bringing her over into Unreal and uh, gave her a little fix up, fixed her hair, fixed her sort order. Uh, in the process, we were able to kind of upgrade my machine to the latest driver and then also show you how to switch over to using substrate for the final fix in our sort order issues. So hopefully you watching me kick through some of these issues has helped you uh, learn a, a trick or two and uh, helped see some of the things you might have to do to get things working in, in this case, in Mixamo, but I'm sure uh, other assets you might use, you might come across the same problem. So that's it for this video. Hope you got something out of it and keep your eye out for the next one.